Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Here we are meet again in the video for part 2 of Introduction to Organic Chemistry for subtopic 1.3 Classification of Organic Compounds. So my name is Madam Aida Nadia, so I will teach you for this organic chemistry. Since there are a lot, a millions of organic compounds, so it will be difficult if there is no specific way to classify them. So therefore, organic compounds are classified according to their functional groups, which is a group of atoms bonded in a particular way. Functional groups in a compound determine both its physical properties and its chemical reactivity that affects the polarity of a compound and therefore determine the intermolecular forces it exhibits. And the functional group define the regions of high and low electron density in a compound, thus determining its reactivity. What is functional group? It is defined as an atom or group of atoms or bonds that determine the chemical properties of organic compounds. So one way for you to identify the functional group in a structural formula of organic compound is by identifying the elements that is other than hydrogen and carbon with a single bond. So for example, the ethanoic acid with the general formula of C2H4O2. So the structural formula of ethanoic acid is like this. Two carbon and four hydrogen arranged in such a way where there is a carbon that contain double bond with oxygen atom and carbon single bond with oxygen and H atom. So this region is basically the functional group for ethanoic acid because it does contain double bond and other elements than carbon and hydrogen. So this region that will react with other reagents that will determine the chemical property of ethanoic acid. And to be specific, the hydroxyl group, which is the OH group, is the site for chemical reaction for carboxylic acid. Basically, there are 15 functional groups that you have to know and memorize. So alkane is not a functional group because it only contains a single bond of carbon and hydrogen. So they are only class of compound and no functional group for alkene. So the first functional group is carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, so this carbon-carbon double bond belongs to the class of compound of alkene. And the example given here is ethene with two carbon and four hydrogen. The general formula for carbon-carbon double bond is CnH2n. Second is carbon-carbon triple bond. This functional group belongs to alkyne compound. And the example given here is ethyne. The next functional group is benzene ring. So the structure of benzene ring is six carbon joined together in a cyclic with double bond alternately in the so class of compound of benzene ring is arene or aromatic compound. The next functional group is hydroxyl. Hydroxyl comes from the word of oxygen and hydrogen. Hydrogen and oxygen. So the name of this functional group is hydroxyl. The general formula of hydroxyl is CnH2n plus 1OH and it belongs to the class of compound of alcohol. The next functional group is alkoxy. Alkoxy 
consists of two alkyl group with oxygen atom is located between the two alkyl group. Alkoxy comes from the terms of alkyl and oxygen. Alkoxy. So the general formula is C and H2N plus 2 O and it's belong to the class of compound of ether. The next functional group is halogen. So halogens means all the elements in the group of 17 halogen groups. This includes fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So the general formula for halogen functional group is CNH2N plus 1X. And the class of the compound is named as haloalkane. The next functional group is carbonyl group. So for this carbonyl group, we have two class of compound of carbonyl that share the same general formula, which is CNH2NO. So the functional group of carbonyl could be aldehyde and carbonyl ketone. So carbonyl is the only functional group that have two classes of compound. So the differences between aldehyde carbonyl and ketone carbonyl is the aldehyde carbonyl, the carbo C double bond O is at is located, is situated at the end of the carbon chain. The carbonyl group C double bond O is located at the end of the carbon chain. And as for ketone, the carbon double bond O is situated between the two carbon atoms. The next functional group is carboxyl. The carboxyl contains C double bond O, carbo, and OH, hydroxy. So these two terms, carbo and OH, hydroxyl, the combination of these two names have become carboxyl. Okay, so once again, this is carbo and this is hydroxyl group. So when it combines, the name have become carboxyl. So the general formula for carboxyl group is CNH2N plus 1 COOH. And this carboxyl is belongs to the class of compound of carboxylic acid. The next functional group is amino group. So this amino group consists nitrogen in the compound. And this nitrogen with single bond can be classified further into primary, primary amine, secondary and tertiary amines depending on the carbon it attached to. The general formula for amino is CNH2N plus 1 and H2 and this class of compound of, of amino functional group is known as amine. Next functional group is cyano group. Cyano group consists of C triple bond N. So, this cyano group belongs to the class of compound or homology series of nitrile. Next functional group is carboxamide. Carboxamide, carbo, we have carbo, C double bond O, and we have amine group here. So, the combination of carbo and amino group here have become Carboxamide. The general formula for carboxamide is CNH2N plus 1 CONH2. And the class of compound that carboxamide belongs to is amide. The next is carboalkoxy. Carboalkoxy means the functional group consists of carbo, which is C double bond O and alkane and also oxygen, alkyl dan juga oxygen.
carboxy. So carboalkoxy. So the general formula for carboalkoxy is C and H2NO2 and it belongs to the class of compound of ester. And the two last functional group is acyl chloride and acyl anhydride. So acyl chloride consists of C double bond O C L. And this functional group has the same name as the class of compound it has. And same goes to acyl anhydride. Acyl anhydride functional group is similar to the name of the class of compound. The structure for acyl anhydride functional group is C double bond O, O, C double bond O. Now we look at the homology series. So homology series is series of compounds where each member differs from the next member by a constant CH2 unit that have 14 mass unit. So members of a homology series are called homologs. There are four features of homology series. All members of the homology series have the same general formula, have same functional group, which means they have the same chemical reactions. The successive members are differs by a CH2 unit. And there is a gradual change in physical properties. For example, we have the alcohol homologous series of alcohol with the functional group of OH. So we have three alcohols here, methanol, ethanol, and propanol, which differ from each other by one carbon atom. So as you can see, methanol are differ from ethanol by a CH2 group, and propanol are differ from ethanol by also a CH2 unit. So the physical properties in terms of boiling point, propanol has higher boiling point than ethanol, ethanol has higher boiling point than methanol. This is what we said earlier that the physical properties are gradually changed from each member of homologous series. Something that we have to remember that carbon have the ability to form four bonds. This is because carbon literally have four valence electron and all the four valence electron is an unpaired electron. So these an unpaired electron are able to make bond with other atoms or to other carbon atom itself. So carbon may form single bond or double bond or carbon may also form triple bond. So that's all for this part 1.3 classification of organic compound. Thanks for watching.